inter-process communication. As the name suggests, it's how processes communicate with one another. Processes talk to one another to collaborate. A cooperating process is one that can affect or be affected by the execution of another process. Depending on the purpose of communication, processes talk to one another in different ways. One of the communication method is through shared memory. A region of memory is shared by cooperating processes. Processes can then exchange information by reading and writing data to the shared region. Think of it like a Google Doc. To do a project, group members need to work on the same document. So, the group creates a Google document, group members can add and delete the contents of the document. What if two or more member try to update the same piece of information at the same time? It is very unlikely to happen as it's very time dependent. However, there is a small chance of similar problems occurring during inter-process communication. This kind of problem is quite hard to debug because it is intermittent. It is called a race condition also known as race hazard. It is a defect in a design whereby the output of the system is dependent on the sequence or timing of other events. Therefore, like a group have a division of work among members, processes may also need to synchronize their actions so that they do not interfere with one another by trying to update the same piece of information at the same time leading to incorrect output. What's the solution to this? Locks. Just like using a cubicle, one locks the door so that no one can come when he's using. Similarly, as the process is run they may need to ask the operating system to give them exclusive access to a resource for some time. This is known as atomic operation, which make it indivisible just like an atom. A lock is also sometimes called a mutex since it can be used to provide mutually exclusive or mutex access to the item the lock is protecting. However, solution to a problem may give rise to other trouble. The locks themselves can be a problem, developing into a deadlock situation of circular weight. Let's refer to this diagram, each car is occupying a different lane on a crossroad, they are in turn blocking one another making a deadlock on the road. In a multi-programming environment, several processes may compete for a finite number of resources. A process requests resources, if the resources are not available at that time, the process enters a waiting state. Sometimes, a waiting process is never again able to change state, because the resources it has requested are held by other waiting processes. This situation is called a deadlock. Just like race condition, deadlock is an extremely rare event. The operating system usually allow the application to examine all waiting tasks and let the application debug the deadlock and fix it. More commonly, we just let deadlock happen and successively abort the lowest cost process until the deadlock disappear. Thank you for watching. Please refer to the video description for more information.